Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I modified the Walsh Centralin Foaming Hand Soap Dispenser. So I got from this to this. Now, there were three reasons why I decided to do the modifications. Firstly, I wanted something that is easily refillable. Now, the original Walsh Foaming Hand Soap uh, that came right out of the box wasn't intended for easy refills. I think the manufacturer actually intended for consumers to swap out the bottom unit to purchase a replacement bottom unit at a certain cost whenever one ran out of the soap solution. So obviously I wanted something that allowed me to manually uh, change or re uh, top up the liquid soap solution uh, as and when I needed or uh, required it and it also allowed me to switch brands in terms of the liquid solution and quantity as well. The second reason was for a larger capacity. Uh, I wanted to store more soap solution in the bottom container so that I wouldn't run out of liquid solution ever so frequently. And the third reason was for visibility. I wanted to have sight of how much liquid or the liquid level uh, that's in the container. The original container was opaque and I uh, modified it with something that is transparent. So these were the three main reasons why I performed the modification. So this is how it looks, the original Walsh Centralin Foaming Hand Soap Dispenser, uh, 200 mils version. And Next, let me go through the five things you need. Firstly, obviously you need the expanded wash central informing hand soap dispenser. And today we are looking at the 200 mils version. Uh, secondly, you need an airtight food container or some might call the Tupperware. Thirdly, you need a hand drill with two bits. The first bit you need is a 32 millimeters hole saw bit. And the second one is a grinding stone. Fourthly, you need a cigarette lighter. And lastly, the fifth thing you need is the furniture leg rubber cap. This is the thing you put on your furniture uh, leg just to prevent it from sliding or slipping around the house. So this is just the food container which I chose. I, I purchased it and I used it. Uh, you may find other brands or models of this, but basically uh, just make sure that uh, you get a container that is about uh, 10 or so centimeters tall because you don't want something that is too tall, uh, uh, which your pickup tube will not be able to reach the base of. And uh, so I picked the one liter version over here. And this brand that I bought was uh, Easy Lock. So this is a close-up of the plastic lid. The first thing that I had to do was to drill the 32 millimeters hole at the center of the plastic lid. So, so this is how it looks after the hole has been cut out of the plastic lid, pretty raw. And the next thing I had to do was to enlarge the hole and smoothen the edges a little bit with the grinding stone. Um, the diameter, the standard diameter of the drill bit was uh, 32 millimeters, whereas the diameter of the pickup tube unit is about 33. So uh, you just have to enlarge it slightly by about one millimeter, just so that it fits properly through this hole. And just to smoothen and deburr the edges of the hole, I uh, scraped off all the loose pieces of plastic debris with my fingernails and I went round the edges of the circular hole with the flame of a cigarette lighter. Now this would melt away the loose pieces that still sticks behind and you will achieve quite a good smooth finish. The next thing you need to do is to work on the furniture leg rubber cap. Uh, basically, you will need to slice off the 
base, the circular base of the rubber cap to achieve a cylindrical shape. Uh, now this shows the internal diameter of the rubber cap, 32 millimeters, and comparable in diameter or size to the uh, pickup tube unit as shown on the left. And this is how the uh, rubber cylinder looks like after you saw off the base. And you have to fit this piece of rubber over the pickup tube unit uh, after passing it through the hole of the uh, food container lid. This is how it looks after you press it firmly in and uh, use your fingers to go round the uh, around the circle of the rubber cap a few times to uh, push it all the way back so that uh, it grips onto the pickup units firmly and snugly and there is no free play for this uh, entire setup and that's it uh, you just have to uh, place the lid on top of the container, seal it, and uh, plug in the top unit of the Centralin foaming hand soap dispenser, and you are done. So this is how it looks after uh, everything is completed. And to show you that it does work, here's the video. Arguably even better than the original uh, wash central in hand soap dispenser foaming hand soap dispenser that came right out of the box so feel free to try this on your own thank you for watching